It begins. It begins. And we will play first. Come on. Hey. I'd like to say you're welcome to the people who we're playing against. <laughs> uh, this is not terrible. It's not terrible. We can cast the Electromancer. We can like, ca maybe, maybe that's what we should be excited about. <laughs> I mean, we can't cast... And we can't cast that or that without drawing more land in other colors. Yeah, but like, but I don't. Given the options, this, yeah. I think this is as good as we can expect. Sure, why not? Like first turn Guildgate, second turn Electromancer. Electromancer. Yeah. At least get some. At least we do something. Get some. <laughs> get some bears down. Yeah, sure. <laughs> I mean, I, obviously this deck could have better opening hands, but I don't know what they are. Yeah, it'd be interesting to actually calculate what the best opening hand for this game, for this deck would be. Yeah. Uh, we also, we can't even cast that Dramatic Rescue. No. So we really need to get, to get a land uh, yeah. this turn. Well, we're heavy on the land, so oh, that should be okay. a thing we can do. His two drop greater than my two drop. Perfect. I nice. mean, not great, but perfect. And remember, the Electromancer is going to be helping us for the bigger stuff, too. Mm-hmm. So, In fact, just get that down there. Okie dokie. Uh, we'll tap the red, I guess. All right. Good. So if next turn we can um, cast a Rakdos Charm, <laughs> if we want, uh, or if we get a land, we can play out the Corpse Jack Menace, and that will be very nice. Actually, if we get a land, we can get the we can get a long life. or a, the spawn of Rick's Madi out there a turn early. Yeah. Which would be pretty darn good. Uh, he's got the Centaur's Herald. Yeah, he has the Layaway Centaur, as I like to call it. It's a four mana Centaur, but you only have to pay one mana up front. Well, that's a shame. But we can cast it, so that's we can cast it. So that's good. I think we have to we have to have each each precious card that we can cast, we have to be thankful yeah, for. Yeah, I'm not gonna attack with the Electromancer because it's too important. Yeah, I think it's helping us right now. So, for instance, we're casting this for two. I guess we'll just do that. It doesn't really matter. Get that oh, guy we should be there. able to cast it for... It's not an instant. Oh, an instant. It's not all spells. Oh, man, that'd be great if there was something that made multicolor spells cheaper to cast. There might be. <laughs> Maybe I wasn't paying attention. No, that seems kind of busted. No, he's in three colors as well. Tower Drake. All right. So he's got a flyer as well. And again, his flyer probably better than our flyer. Uh, we may just want to pass here and then use gr use the Grizzly Salvage at the end of turn just to get a land. Uh, can we? I don't think we can. Uh, no, we can't. <laughs> we totally cannot. <laughs> All right, so maybe we just pass. I, I think we just can. pass anyway. What's, What's the modes on this again? Exile, destroy an artifact. Yeah. Just use that as a lightning bolt right now, but that seems bad. Uh, I think we just pass, and then if he cashes in his Herald, we can... Uh, Bounce the token. Sure. Gain two life. Seems okay. Don't worry, token. We'll rescue you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> rescue the token. I don't want to be... Oh. To the exile zone. Oh. What? Now, come on. <laughs> no. That's not fair. <laughs> Here we are, playing with two hands tied behind our back. <laughs> and you do that kind of crap. Oh, goodness me. All right. Ooh, hey, if he gets one more creature out, can we just Rakdos Charm and kill? Uh, yes, I believe. I believe we can redirect that damage. In fact, we might just want to do that now just to take Jace down to two. Really don't we want to wait until we actually kill him? Uh, the more he has it, the better Jace is going to be. Yeah. I think... But, that, I mean, that's not going to help. That's just going to slow him down a little bit. Yeah, but it means that he can't do the minus two next turn without just losing Jace. But if he minus twos now, then we can Rakdos and kill him. Yeah, that's a good point, actually. All right. Hey, a card. Hey, did that a card actually help us at all? Uh, yes. We can get the spawn of Rick's Madi out there. Uh, isn't he five? Right, darn it. Why was I... Sorry, I'll tell you why I said that a couple turns back. Because um, he and Skullrend are the same mana cost, and I was factoring in the, well, elect the, the Electromancer. You can barely see the mana cost over the... Uh, <laughs> the foil? The foil effect. Yeah. Um, so... Yeah. 
We just so pass. So we're hoping he's going to have minus two, and then we Rakdos Charm and kill Drace. Yeah, that's my plan. I feel like if we kill, like, I, I, I would feel a sense of accomplishment if we can kill Drace. <laughs> if we can kill Drace, thing. yeah. So he still gets to minus two, but let's hope. Darn it. He's trying to go off with Jace. That's so much worse now. Yeah, it's now yeah, that's worse. Yeah. All right. Mm-hmm. Well, we will stop that from happening. He knows that we're basically not doing anything, so he's like, <laughs> I might as well. What's the minus eight? It's something ridiculous. Uh, tutor through each player's deck for a non land card, and you can play them. <laughs> he's going to be so disappointed <laughs> yeah. tutoring through our deck. Yeah, he's no like, oh, what, what the? All right, what? I'm, I'm going to charm now just to slow him down. Uh, each creature deals one damage to its controller. Oh, each creature. Okay, so we're taking two out of this deal, but that's okay. That's okay. You better give me an option to redirect that damage. Oh, he's sacking his herald. That's fine. He's it, He'll still have three creatures when this resolves, so... And then we can also Dramatic Rescue and use up our mana. That's totally cool. Okay. Uh, we can't Dramatic Rescue. Yeah, we can. Oh, no, we can't. Dang it. Oh, we can do it next turn. Okay. What? Apparently it don't work that way. Shouldn't I be able to redirect that to Jace? I guess not. I guess I just don't understand the wording. Well... That was <sighs> what a shame. All right, well, um... that was useless. Ha! Huh. We are currently at this point winning this game. <laughs> He's at seventeen. We're at eighteen. That means we win. So we can either attack with the vassal. Soul. We can attack Jace with the vassal soul and bounce the tower drake, or like bounce the tower drake and attack. Or uh, the centaur is the w- scarier thing. So yeah. the centaur can just run over any of our guys. Yeah. I think it might still attack with a Vassal Soul on the off chance he doesn't block. He can make it... He still can't make his Tower Drake live right now because he had to use three mana, so... Yeah. I, and I'm, I'm okay with those guys trading off. Sure. Because we're going to be able to do... We're going to deal with the Centaur, so... Our opponent has to stop in our main phase. I'm coming for you, Jace. Oh, shit. Just call me misplay. He just gets to eat our guy. What did he do? Uh, Jace's ability. Oh, yeah. Which I totally and completely forgot about. Well, that's not good. That's a shame. Run. Got so distracted. I'm starting to worry that this is not a very good deck that we made. <laughs> Only now are you starting to worry. Alright, so we dramatic rescue the centaur when he attacks with it, right? Uh, yes. Because I assume he's going to attack with it. Alright. Cool. That's fine. Don't worry, Centaur, we'll save you. <laughs> da 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 And it's also... And yeah, we gain two life, which is Well, it also mitigates the damage from the Drake. Unless he... Reborn to go. Okay. That... Ha-ha. It still gets bounced, but he gets another one. Right. That's fine, though. He's indestructible. He's not bounce-proof. And we take two from the Tower Drake. Okie dokie. Still winning. Dang it. Oh, for all the land we have in this deck, we really should be drawing more of it. Uh, ugh. So we get the Guild Mage out there, and we can start sw- taking swings at Jace by making things unblockable. Yeah. Um, or we... Wait, do we... No, we can't even play out the Guild Mage. Right. <laughs> we can't play any of these cards. That's... Nope. <sighs> that actually makes this a lot simpler. 
Oh, I guess we just take a whole bunch of damage next turn. Yeah. And we can chump with the Electromancer, but... <laughs> he really hasn't done as much good. I keep forgetting that we only have one... One, one land that gives us black or green. Yeah. We're not drawing the right cards. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> I wonder if he's going to get bold I hope, and next turn take Jace to 9 so he can keep him after he ultimates. I hope he appreciates the, uh, you know, not, it's not often you get to ultimate your Planeswalker. You know? Yeah. We are providing him a lot of entertainment value. Mm hmm. Mm, we take a bunch of damage. Yeah, we took 5 there. All right. We are no longer winning. And he passes the turn. Hey! hey da, da, that da, is da, 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 not, da. well, that's, we'll have this next turn. <laughs> And next turn we'll be able to cast basically anything in our hand. Yeah. <laughs> I think... It, next we'll, turn we will have the choices. So what, what do we want to do? We want to go Corpse Jack? Like if we go Corpse Jack and then the two spawns, that could actually start doing some damage. Uh, okay, Spell Slinging apparent. No, go away. Uh, yeah, because then they will become seven fives. Yeah, which seems decent. And then we can bring out the... Uh, guild made to make them unblockable. Yes. Like, that's serious, except he's w so far ahead of us. Yeah. We're probably not going to get to that point. Yeah. Also, he's about to get the best thing in his and our deck. Uh, no, because he's he is plussing him again before well, blowing uh, him off. Before we get to do anything, no. Yeah, that's correct. Oh, I'm kind of, no! Oh, no. <laughs> I'm kind of curious to, th to know what he thinks the best card in our deck is <laughs> for him to take anyway. Oh, we are in so uh, much trouble. So we're just straight up dead next turn. Um, uh, and I don't think we can do anything about it. No, I don't think so either. Like, I think the trample damage combined with the number of dudes... The trample has, damage alone is going to kill us. Uh, yeah. No, I mean, the trample... Not the, oh, yeah, the trample damage. No, no, we could we could mitigate enough... Ooh, we could exile one of them. Yes, we could exile one of them, and we could bring out the guild mage. Nope. Because we need, oh, no, we need both, both of these. these. Yeah. <laughs> God damn it. Um, okay. So we can play out a spawn, a leashed spawn, or a Gary Longlegs, which mm. is a five power guy that can block one of those guys. And then we chump right. the Electromancer on this, and we take five, six, seven, eight, nine, so we're dead there. Um, like we have to bring out at least two creatures for this to work, and I don't think we can. I don't think we can either, because we can only we can use this to bring out a guy or exile one of them. But then we can't, then we can't cast the guild mage. Yeah. GG. I think. All right, we will try and uh, pick this up in game two. Uh, sideboarding. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> there is. You know what would be really no useful? Sideboarding. What's he want to say? Oh, right. Submit the deck. It'll be really useful. What? Extra seven land life. <laughs> I feel like our land is correct. We drew two mountains, which is statistically off the curve. So yeah, like we didn't get any forests or swamps. Yeah, I think we're just gonna try again with the same build, and uh, I will definitely play first again. There we go. Oh, that's both forest and swamp. That's so much better. Now we only trestle troll, and we can cast the trestle troll and, and, and abrupt cast decay. decay. Nice. That is a definite keep. Wow, we're like all green and black this time. Yeah, and if we draw any red, then we can get up to the spawn. Yeah. So yeah. that's pretty sweet. This is actually the business. Uh, I guess we'll go that guy. All right, turn three, trestle troll. Unless he somehow plays something astonishing here that we need to. Decay abruptly, but I doubt it. It's a shame Abrupt Decay can't hit Jace, but he's pretty far off that mana, actually. So that's good. Man, those spawns just love coming out to play. All right. Trestle Troll. Double T. Uh, we'll block all your things and regenerate all day long. Yeah. What you going to do about it now? Actually, there's a variety of things. There's a variety of things, yeah. 
So what did we see from him last game that we would want to abrupt decay? Like a Tower Drake? Like all of his stuff was actually pretty cheap except for Jace. Uh, or might have been the Big Worm. Can't. Needs no? to be con CMC oh, three or less. Three or less. Yeah. Mm. Okay. So can't... The, the Mountain is what we wanted. I mean, we, we can bring out the Mountain so we can get, we're ready for the Rakdos show. Yeah, just in case, I guess. Uh, next turn we get to unleash a spawn. I think we could have attacked with the Trestle Troller. Defender. Oh, Defender. All right. Now is your chance to do something cool. Come on, don't play anything. Hmm. Man, this deck is really rocking against Goldfish. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. This is where this deck is strongest, when the other guy doesn't do anything. You know what, I'm going to go for it. Yeah. Let's get the foil one out there. He's the best. This is when the opponent is like, I... Like, before, he thought we were playing, like, a three-color deck and had a lot of trans-guild promenades for some reason. Yeah. Now he's realizing the depths of the ridiculousness of this deck. So he's got to find an answer. Oh, he's got his blue. So he's got to find an answer to that, uh, which can't be too difficult. There you go. Yeah. That's, a t that, that, that's a temporary answer, but it's an answer. Yeah. All right, so the spawn can't attack this turn. That's fine. I'm certainly not going to... Uh, Abrupt decay that guy. And uh, that wouldn't help the. That wouldn't get the spawn yeah. back in. And I think we just get the other spawn out there. Yeah. Put some serious pressure on him. And yeah, I'm going to unleash this one as well. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Is he countering it? Wait, no. What? He doesn't have the right mana to do. Oh, syncopate. Oh, okay. And X is two. Syncopate yep. for two. Yep. Uh, can't pay that, so. Okay. Pretty much. Oh, fair enough. You may pay two to prevent this. No, I don't think I can. Uh, okay. Oh, we can move Vassal Soul next turn. Yep. Vassal Soul and leave up both of our other things. Or no, wait, no, we can't. We can't actually Vassal Soul. We need another blue or white source before we can cast sure. that guy. Yeah, this is so tricky. Yeah. But... But we can beat in pretty with our sure, spawn next turn. Pretty sure whatever he plays here, we can abruptly decay. Right. Of course, we've now drawn unless it, his... Unless it's a six drop. Yeah, we've, we've now drawn his counter spell. Yeah, if it's the Armada Worm, we're hosed. Yeah, I mean, of all the things, that's actually not too bad to get countered. Really? Wow, he must be doing very poorly. Oh, man, I just want a Skull Rend, then. Uh, I know. I mean, you gotta get more guys out, I think. Why? Oh, you mean, like, well, we can't, we can't cast this. Oh, right, we can't get I that. Mean, right, right. So I think, the question is, do we attack? Uh, yeah. No, no, I mean, do we, do we attack first, or do we skull rend first? Uh, it doesn't matter. Yeah, I guess if he's gonna do something... Well, no, because if he if he's got something, you know, then he just won't discard that. So, yeah, I think we just attack first. I guess like, if he's, he's got, got five cards in hand. Yeah, if he's got the giant growth, then he just won't discard the giant growth. So yeah. Okay, that's okay. fine. Um, we just play him out. I guess we'll just yeah. So better to better to have done it that way. And got unleash him again. Yep. All right, well, we doing... told you. Get out there. <laughs> no, don't come back here. Get out there. <laughs> Go fight them. With, with what? With your weird claw things. Jeez. You're that's, unleashed. That's all you've got. Consider yourself with no leash. Go. You're free of leashing. Slime molding. Ooh, uh, a 6-6 six, six ooze. That, we can abrupt decay. Yes, we can. Ha-ha. You have a converted mana cost of nothing. nothing. That is a good thing to abrupt decay. Definitely want to get... Actually, yeah. I think we should definitely do that before he gets a chance to populate it. Yeah. Uh, ooh, and then next turn we can get our own guys out. So, yeah, I'm going to do that actually now so then we can attack with the spawn. Yeah. So let's let's do that. You, sir. Be gone. How do you tell when an ooze has decayed? Seems like it would just be more oozy. <laughs> it just turns turns more oozy and turns into more of a slime. All right. That was a good use of that abrupt decay. I'm, I think so. I'm excited about that. Because he's definitely got populate cards in there, and I do not want him creating more 6-6s. Six 
All right, so he's going to go big Sweet. chumps, which is fine. We can't cast anything else except the Rakdos charm right now, which doesn't help us, doesn't help us so we go. He's not doing any graveyard diddling, so... <laughs> graveyard diddling. That's true. So yeah, Courser's Accord next turn. Mm -hmm. Assuming he doesn't... Uh... Ooh, Martial Law. Ooh, 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 is this the one that destroys enchantments? No, that was the that was the one we didn't take. Artifacts. Darn, we have no way to re we have no way to respond to that. So he just sits there detaining our dude every turn. Yeah. Ah, we can block that though. Tower oh, yes. is no problem. All right, that one. <laughs> we can actually get the tower drake out of the way right now, or no, next turn. No, because he's tapped. Ah, oh, no, 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 no. sorry, in my. Get confused sometimes. All right. Um, yeah. And well, we can I'm, just go with the courser, and then we'll have two dudes up. Yeah, I'm going to attack with this guy while I, we still have the chance to. Though he's probably oh, definitely. probably just going to chump. That's fine. If he wants to chump. No, he didn't. All right, that, that's fine. Wow, that's some good damage then. Or we could get both the remaining cards in his hand. That that's actually, true. I kind of like that idea. In two damage. When did he gain life? Oh, right from the drawing Christy. I think I like the idea of clearing out everything he has left in his hand. Alright. And get him down to 14. Yeah. Hopefully the... Hopefully they've fixed... <coughs> hopefully they've fixed this, and he does indeed discard two. He, hey, it worked. Why is he chatting? What's he saying? Ouch, that hurts. Excellent. Good. That was... The, Feel the pain. Aha! He had that, and that guy. Alright. Okay, so now he's top decking like a champ, but he's going to lock down my spawn every turn, so it just turns into a giant nothing. But then we can get the Corsair out, and we could, and we can populate him. Yeah. Um, so then we have a bunch of other dudes, and his martial law does nothing. Ooh, chaining Corsair's Accords. Ooh, yeah, that's interesting. I like that. Mm-hmm. What is that? Like, that's the token symbol, right? The little... Uh, the, that, that's the copy symbol. Oh. So it's like, that's a copy of that token. It's a little but they're weird. they're both tokens, so... I know. How it's, does it matter? It's a little strange. Oh, I can't believe we're actually doing pretty well here. Ooh, and then we can get out... Can we do that? No, we because we don't have any blue. Right, we can't cast any of them. We can't cast that at all. We don't have blue. All right. I'm assuming he detained the dude, yeah. Yeah. Well, he can pump that guy up. To yeah, he can, so he can he can block one of them. So he's getting for three. Why is this lit? Oh, okay. Okay. Okay, so he'll do that and not die, which is fine. But he can't kill one of them, so that's good. Uh, Rakdos Charm still doesn't help us. Oh, he's just going full bore on it. Wonder why. I guess in case we have a trick, but if we do have a trick, it's not enough. I guess he just has nothing else to do with his mana. And if he does, and we do have a trick, he can just pump it even more. Yeah. Well, whatever. More centaurs! We Additional require, centaurs. Require more centaurs. Of course, he's going to do the thing that returns everything to your hand. But. I should have copied the copy of the token, just in case we could see if there's any weird uh, third generation mu like genetic mutations that happen. Mutant centaur. You're under arrest. Who's under arrest? One of the centaurs. All right. Bad boys, bad boys. <laughs> Still doesn't have any attack here. No. Nope. All right. Hey. Ooh, that's, that's fun. That's fun. Cool. In fact, we can play him... This is, a, this is actually a semi-passable green-black deck. Yeah. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> Too bad we don't have enough cards to actually make that happen. We can actually activate this guy right now, and I think I'm going to, just to get in there for, for, for some additional unblockable well, damage. Will we be getting in for additional, though? Yeah, because it gives him plus one, plus one. Oh, is it plus one, plus one? Okay, yeah. right. 
So, yeah, why not? I got nothing. Do I, do I have anything else I can do with my mana? I don't think so. Hmm. I can Rakdos Charm, and that doesn't and that mean means anything. we can also keep the other centaurs back, right? Like, there's no point in attacking with the other centaur. Well, I guess I guess we could kill the yeah, monster. I, yeah, no, I think the uh, I think it's worth attacking. You can still just use up the bump up the Drake, but which he'll probably do just to block this centaur, or does he have enough mana to do that? No, he does. Oh, right, intimidate. He can't actually block that centaur. Okay, so. This seems okay. So he's going to take four here for sure. And then he's going to Either. probably block one of those with the Tower Drake and take three, I'm betting. Or he has to jump with the Arrester. Yeah, I mean, the Arrester's already done his thing, so. Yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if he jumps in. Ooh, double blocks. Oh, hoo hoo. It's not a bad move, actually. All right, well, I can't kill the Tower Drake, so I will order that guy first. Oh, that's fine. I wish I had the mana to Chemistry's Trick, but whatever. Yeah, Chemistry's Trick would be perfect in that circumstance. All right, so he's at four, so he is actually dead next turn if he oh. can't find an answer to all of our Centaurs or the Guild Mage. All right, cool. We need a little. We got to watch our time a little bit here, so yeah. That's that's play. that's par for the course for us. Ah, now that's a creature that can block one of the centaurs though, because it has intimidate. Uh, right. Intim green. The green guild mage could give himself. Oh, no, that's still green. He could give the spawn intimidate, except that the spawn is just on lockdown every turn. So basically, trading a card for a card. But we're still. I mean, with three centaurs, we can still just get in there. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I guess there's no real point. Is there any point in doing... Like, I think if we Alpha Strike, we just kill him. Unless he's got... Depending on what the card is in, in his hand. Yeah, and then we still have the Rakdos Charm. Oh, right. We, actually, well, yeah, we can just do that to do an extra little two damage to him. So we can just attack with the Centaurs. I think I will still... Use this ability, because right. then if he pop, then if he poops out a centaur, our centaur beats his centaur. That's true. And that is the mana I need to tap to keep up the Rakdos charm. And then we go surprise Rakdos charm. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. So he's gonna block with the herald, then sack it and get a guy. And he's going to block that, and then he's going to go to... Yeah, and then he's going to go to one, and then we Rakdos Charm. Cool. Rakdos Charm is almost like direct damage, which is pretty uncommon in this set. It's like that and Annihilating Fire. <laughs> we do that. Jump there. Except not actually chump. He's gonna. Have the oh no, he does have the he's gonna. Yeah, he's, he's gonna sack before damage. Do that. That's fine. Take three. Uh, if that one card in his hand is dispel, then he doesn't lose right now. All right. Oh, he doesn't have the mana up for dispel. And we take one, two, three, four, five, six here, but he dies. If <laughs> if this resolves, we win. So. Hey, all right. Wow. Game three. Hey, presto. Yeah. Let's just do that again. Okay. I'll see what I can do. Running it. That again, please. Yeah, it seems like Golgari is the... Golgari splashing Rakdos is like the bulk of the deck. And then we've got, like, a little bit of... Other stuff. Just enough to mess everything else up. <laughs> yeah. Uh, a little bit of a light dusting of... I guess we'll call it Azorizit. Mm. But, like, if we had been taking... Or Azorius. If we had been taking monocolor stuff, and we had picked up some black and... Just, like, some mono black and mono green oh, things yeah. along the way, we could have had quite a nice... And then we ruined yeah, it. Yeah, pack one, pick one, Abrupt Decay. Pack two, pick one, Corpse Jack Menace. That would have been mm. awesome. And then we ruined it. Yep. <laughs> we ruined it long before we saw the Corpse Jack Menace. So 
Or, I guess our opponent is actually sideboarding this time. <laughs> Good luck. Yeah. I don't know what you would sideboard against our deck. How do you sideboard against that which you cannot understand? Um, that's worrisome. I don't like the two Coursers Accords and the Long Legs. Oh, the Long Legs is fine. But the two Coursers Accords seems like pretty bad for an opening hand with and we no got, like, And we got nothing that we can actually cast. Yeah, that's... Yeah. And, and we're on the draw, so that's a, that's a Small, mulligan. Yeah. That's that, better. That's We've got the Promenade. Almost the same hand, but yeah. <laughs> we still can't cast the Electromancer or the Chemistry. We can't cast any of these still, but it's better that we have some kind of fixing. Yeah. Right. And I don't think a five, I don't think a five card hand in this deck is going to be necessarily any better. So no, we need more cards. We'll just go with this. If we, if we top deck a mountain, then we're in really good shape. Uh, that's a problem though. Eh, or there's the guild gate. So it doesn't help us actually. Uh, yeah, it does because this taps for blue. Okay. And then uh, when we get the promenade down, we can tap the promenade for red and get the electromancer out there. That's true. Of course, this is the. Uh, standard operating procedure for weird Return to Ravnica decks where it's turn one, tapped Guildgate, turn two, <laughs> tapped Promenade, with, paying for it with the Guildgate. I feel good that he had to put his, he put his arrestor out and didn't actually get to do anything with it. Yeah. So he's probably just going to get in for two with the arrestor and then cash in his Herald. That's my bet. Mm-hmm. That seems like a strong play. Yeah. So we can get the we can get our Electromancer out there. Maybe make it into a four four. Yeah. Or we can use Grizzly Salvage. We have, we have options. So yeah, I think we just get our Electromancer out there. We in another common bond. Cast for two. For two. Cast for a green and a white. And the skull rend being cast for four. Yes. So we can actually cast the skull rend. Next turn. Next turn. That, that turn. seems kind of good. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, it'll do something. Get, get rid of two cards for him. Although that centaur is... That centaur is going to start being a beating, especially since we are taking five here, because I don't really feel like... No, I think we want to keep the Electromancer at this point. Or maybe we just common bond and make our Electromancer into a 4-4. Four, four. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we could do that. <laughs> I mean, we know he's got Dramatic Rescue, so that's not ideal. Uh, Alright, so... Okay, let's think about this for a second. Well, we definitely play it for us. Yeah, well, I was thinking we'd salvage, but... Okay, so we can... We can... Common bond. Like darn. At the, at this oh, wait, point, the electromancer bond. is the only creature we got going. Yeah. The, extra, the blister coil with common bond is kind of interesting, actually. So he needs an extra additional plus one. To end of turn, but it's the other one. I, I think we play one. the blister coil weird and pass, and then when he attacks, we play the common bond out, one on the electromancer and one on the weird, and trade the weird off with the centaur. Or play them both on the weird, and eat and just eat the centaur. No, because if we put one on the electromancer, then the electromancer can eat the arrestor. Yeah, that could be fun. Sure, that seems goofy as all hell. Big eats. Let's try that. No, 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 no. Hmm. Go ahead, attack us. Come on. What's he doing end of turn? He's... I don't like it. End your turn properly. He's only got eight minutes up on, a, up on the clock on us. If he wants to <laughs> take some time, I guess I'm okay with that. Yeah. The clock is always our greatest enemy because we, we talk a lot. Well, this deck in particular requires a lot of thinking. <laughs> yeah. And there's a lot of, okay, well, now we'll do this. Wait, no, we can't do that. Yeah. Damn it. Okay, so he's going to draw some cards. That's fine. Oh, sweet. 
Oh, that's a, that's a beating. That is a that, huge uh, beating for us. That oh, wow. we had a whole thing that we were gonna do. Darn it. Well, maybe I'll just grizzly salvage now. Oh, stuff. Yeah, I think I'll just because he's gonna get in for five, and there's nothing we can do about that. Yeah. All right. I guess we'll just grizzly salvage end of turn. Let's salvage a grizzly bear. <laughs> Wrong, wrong grizzly. That's what's left after you kill a grizzly bear. Grizzly salvage. So we get a land or yeah. a creature. Mr. Krog got bigger. Yeah, that happens. Because it's an instant. Yeah. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? And these cards get revealed. For whatever that matters. Another trans guild. Ooh, Corpse Jack Menace. That seems good. That seems fun. Oh, with the common bond. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That oh, they've been revealed. Okay, so click OK. Take that in my hand, please. Yeah. So unfortunately, yeah. we can't do our big crazy turn. Because if we pass without casting this, he'll know that we're up to something. So let's, let's cast it. And then hope... That we can then common we... bond and double both the common bond. Like, that's... So that we get plus four, plus four. Yeah, that would be a pretty big turn if we can manage that. Do we put it on the corpse draft? And just put them up to eight, eight? Mm, no, we probably want to spread it around. We just pass his hero to fear. Oh, is that... No. Oh. That's actually really good. No, that's bad for us. That's super bad. But he did it before we did the common bond. Yeah, that's true. If he'd done it in response to the common bond, that would have been bad. I mean, it's not good, obviously. And now we can't do our funky thing. All right, well, that's actually lethal, so I'm going to trade the weird for the arrester, and then we take five and go to three. Uh, I think we might just have to trade these guys off and take three, and then just do corpse jack and then common bond on him. Sure, why not? I mean, that's assuming we looked that long. Yeah. Which is a bold assumption. Hey, that all happened. I'm surprised. All right. I think I was saying Corpse Jack Menace. Yes, I think I was saying Corpse Jack Menace. No, no, no. Stop. Okay. That's actually pretty bad, because then we don't... That actually basically scuppers this whole idea. Like, there's no point in putting them all on the corpse track now. Uh, no. We could Vassal Assault. Yep. Uh, Unfortunately, we, we can't... Skullrend. We can't Vassal Assault and Common Bond. Yeah, I think we just Skullrend this turn. We can Chemistry's Trick. Yeah, we could keep up Chemister's trick to take out his centaur. None of this seems really good. No, none of it is good. <laughs> does uh, he, is, I is, guess we just, no, you know what, we should just get out the vassal soul just so we have another creature. Is Skullrend at random, or does he choose? He chooses. Oh. I mean, he's only at three cards right now, so. Yeah. And now, no, the trick is not up still. So then he's going to... Get that guy. He's going to detain that guy and get in for three. And we're dead. No, we're at two then. Yeah. We're pretty dead. Yeah. I mean, let's not fool ourselves. <laughs> yeah. Martial law is pretty good, actually. Yeah. Especially in limited. Yeah. Okay. Mm. All right, so. Two damage? No, this is, this is the Armada Worm. Oh, the slime molding for five. Gross. Uh, the, the plus side, I don't know if that makes your situation any worse. <laughs> <laughs> it's the bright side. Um, one, two, three, and we got an additional four, so we can chemister's trick, 
And like we can combine the vassal soul up, and it would get pretty. Like we can get a six six vassal. Yeah, but he's soul. got two guys, and he can detain one of the guys and get in with the other one, and we can't actually. I don't think there's any way, unless we can get another creature out, there's no way we can give you this. We can't get another creature out, so. Like, if either of his guys get in, we're dead. Yeah. And one of them is going to, because there's no way we can not have that happen. Uh, we can give, wait, we can give the minus two, minus zero. All right, we can overload that. And then one of them will do... One and we block the other. Ooh, okay. So what's that cost? To? It's five. Let's see for five. Ah, uh, we can't do that and common bond. Oh well. If we had the electromancer out still. Yes. Yeah. Or we could do the common bond. Oh. No, the 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 common bond wouldn't have helped. The only way we can do this really is to overload the. But the common bond and then the non-overloaded chemistry's trick. Yeah, but he's going to attack with both anyway. Right. But then we could kill one of his dudes. So I think we'll just do it like this. Let him attack. All right. Cast with overload. So, I mean, this just doesn't, doesn't really help us at all. It just keeps us alive for one more turn. Yeah. And now we chump the... Chump the ooze. Chump the ooze. This is a this is a pretty bad spot. This is just delaying the inevitable here. Oh, that's yeah. That's that that, that is all we are doing. Wish we could have common bonded off the electromancer. We had a whole thing planned, and that Azorius arrestor just ruined us. All right. All right. All right. What card do we get? <laughs> Not what we need. Not Correct. what we need. All right. Ha! He only has two cards in hand too. Perfect. You won't see this one coming. At least he won't. At least we won't end this game at higher life than he started. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that is a small no, victory. He's, he's countering it. Oh no, he's not. Oh, I see. He's get doing that so he doesn't have to discard it. Good call. Good call. Oh, geez, a palisade giant with no picture. That's weird. Why does the palisade giant have no picture? That's odd. All right, I'll just let him end it. GGS? GGs. Good games. Yeah. Multiple games that uh, were good. Good games, sir. Ooh, I like that. Good games, sir. What is he casting? Oh, he just exiled the Corpse Jack Menace just for fun. What did he use? <laughs> Tristani's Judgment. All right. Okay. See, I think our problem in, with this one is we didn't do the same as what we did in the first, in the second match. Yeah, which was win. Yeah. All that's right. that's that's more where we should be going towards. All right. Well, let's try and do that again. Not not this game. Let's try and do game two again, in round two. All right. We'll see you in a moment.